Hello there, thanks for joining us again. Um, we've literally just checked in at uh, Coombs Valley Campsite near Chapel on Lafrith, uh, which is one of our favourites. Um, been here in tents and I've uh, been here in a small tent even um, and uh, been back a couple of times since we got the uh, camper van. But uh, yeah, really nice here. It's bank holiday weekend, so we're here for three nights. Got one decent walk planned, and then we're just going to have a bit of an explore around um, the village of Chapel on Lafrith as well. Uh, so for the walk, I'll bring I'll, I'll bring you a separate video, and uh, yeah, this video will just be a bit of a mix and match. A mix and match, yeah. Just see what we get up to for the weekend. A uh, nice little pub down the road called the Beehive. Uh, so I'll uh, show you a bit of that as well. But uh, anyway, stick around and see what we get up to. Yeah, it's really a uh, nice campsite with uh, lovely views down over Coombs Reservoir, uh, away over to uh, Mount Famine, South Head, Chinley Churn, um, back in this direction you can't really see, uh, but Coombs Edge is just up the way, um, which is one of my favourite walks. So uh, yeah, the, uh, the Buxton uh, to Manchester Railway just runs at the edge of the site as well, but it's, you know, it's any, any little trains and it's not really noisy. So all in all, it's uh, one that we keep coming back to, it's one of our favourites. Just having a walk down now to the uh, Beehive pub for uh, a couple of drinks and a bite to eat. It's still a bit overcast but uh, it's not too bad and uh, it's supposed to brighten up a bit tomorrow so it should be nice for our walk up onto Coombs Edge. meal a uh, couple of pints well three who's counting and uh, I had uh, steak and ale pie and um, what do you have uh, eight ounce brisket burger with cheese and chips and slaw. coleslaw pulled pork mm. everything on it too, <laughs> too full up, <laughs> too full up. So we're heading back now just to watch a film or whatever and chill out, but uh, yeah, nice evening. morning much nicer day today got the uh, sausages on the go and then uh, just get ourselves sorted out and heading out uh, for our walk up onto Coombs Moss um, uh, Castle Maze uh, Iron Age Hill Fort and then we're gonna drop down and do a circuit round the Coombs Valley and uh, hopefully find ourselves uh, back at the Beehive again. So, 
gonna get that down us and catch you a bit later. Just setting off on our little wander uh, up onto uh, Coombe's Edge and uh, have a look around Castle Nays Hill Fort. Show you a bit of that. It's, uh, you know, I'll just show you a few highlights along the way. There'll be a proper video for the full walk coming out uh, either before or after this. Chicken wrap. <laughs> Super chef. <laughs> Hello again. No big walks today, we're just having a bit of a a mooch around the village of or the town of Chapel on Lafrith. Uh, otherwise known as the capital of the peak, I think because it was one of the earliest peak district settlements. Quite a reasonable sized town now. Just having a little nosy around the churchyard and maybe grab a coffee and uh, see what else we can uh, discover. interesting little snippets of history. That guy Robert Bennett died aged 48 years old in uh, April 1870 at uh, Christ Quarry Bugsworth which is, you've probably seen it on uh, some of my videos, um, just a few miles from here which is the uh, terminus of the Peak Forest Canal where they brought the uh, the stone down from um, a lot of the, uh, the quarries around here to uh, you know bring it down the canals into Manchester. Interesting stuff. We've had a good mooch, 
sorry about a bit of uh, traffic noise but it's uh, yeah it's been interesting having a look round Chapel on La Frith um, we've met a few people who've told us a couple of bits and pieces the war memorial that you've just seen uh, is quite unusual in that the it, it commemorates all the people of the area who served um, in the Second World War and the crosses denote the people who died on active service um, so it's yeah it's uh, an interesting one it just kind of uh, commemorates the fact that not only the people that gave their lives uh, you know really um, gave a lot and uh, yes yeah, yeah quite poignant the little micro pub that we uh, had a lovely uh, couple of pints in that was the old uh, lock-up for the area you know the cells uh, and uh, so, so that was really interesting to see and on the internet you can see there's um, a, a report from the inspector of prisons for the area back in I think the 1800s or something like that that, say, that tells you about the conditions uh, in, in, in the cells for the area you know so that, that was interesting yeah the uh, church we look round the uh, it's built on the site of another older church and there was an outrage in 1648 I think where Cromwell's men locked up 1500 um, soldiers from the Scottish army in that church for 16 days and I think 44 of them died in that time and then another 10 died on the forced march uh, back up to Scotland so yeah very historic site and then the, the the graves you know loads of interesting graves in there you know and, and some of them have got little snippets of history like the uh, the man who died up at the uh, the quarry at uh, Bugsworth Basin and whatever, you know. So, uh, yeah, fascinating little place. Not the not the prettiest or most picturesque of uh, your little uh, Peak District villages, you know, because it's always had a main road going through it or whatever. But a really interesting place to have a look around. seen a post office that's got such a great selection of uh, real ales in bottles and you can also buy a postcard of Highland cattle or a nice microbrewery in stainless steel <laughs> what's that it's brilliant <laughs> So bear in mind it's August, that's the decorations inside the Hanging Gate pub and I've just asked and they went to all that trouble, they, they go overboard on the decks and then they got locked down so they reopened and um, they were serving Christmas meals right into sort of like June and July so all the Christmas uh, decorations are up and um, the kids loved it so they've left it there and now they've got to take it down because they've got uh, ha yeah, uh, Halloween decks to put up and then all goes back up for Christmas again in a few months time so uh, there you go 
just looked a bit strange when we walked in. <laughs> outside uh, but it's Monday and it's time to go home so uh, that was just a, a bit of a mix from our uh, bank holiday weekend away just got our porridge ready for uh, breakfast um, so a nice walk on Saturday didn't we and a uh, pub meal on Friday a bit of a mooch around Chapel on the Frith on Sunday been a good weekend hasn't it mm. You uh, you really enjoyed the walk, didn't you, on Saturday? Mm. <laughs> it was a tough one, that. But uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching, and uh, no doubt we'll see you again on a uh, a walk or a camp or something very soon. Cheers now. Bye.